At CIA headquarters in the summer of 1953, Alan Dulles, the agency's director, recruits E. Howard Hunt as his propaganda chief in the plot to oust Arbenz. And they took me into a, a small room in the agency and they swore me in a special oath. I must never tell what they were going to tell me. The American strongest ally inside Guatemala is the Catholic Church. The CIA contacts Cardinal Spellman in New York to take part in their psychological war against Arbenz. The Cardinal uses his authority to enlist the full cooperation of the head of the Guatemalan Church, Archbishop Arellano. Cardinal Spellman convinced his counterpart in Guatemala to issue a pastoral letter several months before the coup in which uh, the cardinal basically spelled out his message to the flock that they should rise up against the communists in Guatemala and overthrow them. And then the CIA took that pastoral letter and airlifted it around Guatemala. We had gotten the, uh, the okay from Cardinal Spellman to go ahead with this and uh, I wouldn't presume to trace the uh, lines of authority within the Catholic Church, how they get their information, but they do. And we've always said, you know, in an admiring way, that the, the Jesuits uh, formed the greatest intelligence service in the world, always had. The Jesuits uh, formed the greatest intelligence service in the world, always have. The Jesuits uh, formed the greatest intelligence service in the world, always have.